To create AI in Unreal Engine, first, create a new Blackboard asset. Inside the Blackboard, create keys to track data that your AI will need in order to make decisions. This can be things like location vectors, true-false booleans, object references, and more. Next, create a new behavior tree and define the logic that you wish your AI to execute. You can use predefined task nodes or even create custom task blueprints to drive your logic. In this example, I'm using a selector node to feed into two sequence nodes and one wait task node. In the first sequence branch called chase, I'm using a predefined task that rotates the AI to face the player. Then I'm using a custom task that updates the AI's movement speed. And finally, I'm calling another predefined task that moves the AI to a location. In this case, the players. Then in the second sequence node called patrol, I'm using a custom task that finds a random position on the map. Then I use two predefined tasks to move to that location and wait. Then create an AI controller blueprint and add the AI perception component to it. Make sure to add the senses that your AI will have. In this example, I'm using the site sense. Scroll down to the events section and add the on target perception updated event. Add your code to this node and update any Blackboard key values from this logic. Don't forget to call the run behavior tree node from the event on possess so your behavior tree starts. Finally, inside your enemy blueprint, locate the pawn section in the details panel. Update the AI controller class to use your custom AI controller blueprint that you made in the previous step. Set the auto possess AI to either spawned or placed in world depending on your use case and add any additional rotation settings that you might need. Add a nav mesh bounds volume to your level and scale it up so the navigation data can be fed to the AI. And that's how you can easily set up AI in your Unreal Engine.